What's going on YouTube? Man from Beantown here coming at you with a long overdue haul and collection video. Um, I just want to say thanks to everybody who's been sticking with me. Um, like I said, this is a long overdue haul. I haven't put up a video in quite some time. Um, and you know, with these keeping busy in these unprecedented times, I hope everybody's staying safe and healthy. Um, so just a quick introduction. I've been on YouTube for about four or five years now. Um, love this community. I'm sure most more of you see me um, in different chats, um, commenting on videos. Um, my name's Ben. So if you ever see me in a chat, come say hello or at a con once they return. Um, I had the pleasure of meeting so many cool YouTubers in person the last couple of years. Um, and it's really opened up the hobby. It's made it a lot more fun being able to share with a big group of people. So thanks guys. I really appreciate everything um, you've been doing. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to be showing you a big stack of variants that I've added in my collection through various ways. I've never been much of a variant guy, but I kind of noticed a week or two ago that I've started to acquire um, quite a little stack of variants over over the last two years or so. There's, you know, I pick my places here and there, but um, they've started to add up. So I'm going to show you what I got, and I'm going to show you what I've been picking up. Um, because I usually buy bigger keys and I've been doing less of the runs, um, I don't buy as many books as I used to, so that's why I apologize for not putting up as many videos. But I just wanted to say thanks to everybody. Thanks to everybody in this community for all you do. I love watching uh, so many different channels. It's really helping me keep sane during, during these tough times and giving me things to watch at night. So thanks, guys. I'm going to um, get out of here now and get my face off and put a close-up on the books. Peace. All right, guys, so here we go. Um, this is how we're going to do it. I'm going to show you about 12 to 15 variants that I kind of consider my top tier in my collection, my favorites, my keepers. Um, I obviously have more than what I'm going to show you here today, but the other ones I don't consider as cool personally to me or they're not my favorites. But I'm going to show you some really cool variants that I have, and then we'll go over my newer books, uh, my new pickups, that, and give you guys a small haul. So this first book we're going to show you is a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Urban Legends. It's signed by Kevin Eastman right there on the bottom. And it's kind of like a silhouette cover of the Ninja Turtles. I thought this was pretty cool. Um, so that's number one. Uh, my next book I'm going to show you guys is... Uh, Dr. Strange book and this is the only one in the collection that is not a virgin variant and this is probably my oldest variant I've had and this is done by Quesada and I just love this color cover I think he did the, such a good job the colors pop um, and it's really beautiful I remember when I saw it I was like you know what I don't really collect variants and modern stuff too much but I just had to get this so really cool book here um, Dr. Strange number one. Um, this next one is Amazing Spider-Man number one. It's a Del Otto um, Virgin variant. Um, really great Spider-Man. You know, Del Otto is one of my favorite artists. I think he just does great work. So I like the white here with the gargoyles overhanging, um, overlooking Spider-Man as he's on the side of the building. Just a really, really sweet variant cover. Um, this next one, I am kind of getting over all the Venom and Carnage covers, but out of the whole lot, I think I only have one or two, and this one always just stuck out for me. I love this Venom. I think this kind of embraces um, how Venom looked when he was first coming out, when the Larson was doing his covers, and also when McFarlane was doing the Venom run. To me, that was Venom growing up. Now he's got like wings and there's null and he looks all bulky and different by different artists. To me, this is how Venom should look. I love the original. And so this was a book I had to put in my top variant collection. Um, next up is a Stephanie Hans. And speaking of Venom, we have a Venomized Psylocke. Um, 
this is just a cool, I didn't have, I like the, there's a lot of Psylocke vi variants out there. I like the purple, which kind of made it stick out to me. And Psylocke being like a samurai is, was always a cool character to me. I liked her very much growing up in the X-Men. Um, so I, I ended up keeping this book as well. This book is absolutely gorgeous. Shannon Mayer duh, with a carnagized Mary Jane. This book looks like it could be a painting. It is absolutely stunning. And it looks so good in Mylar too. Um, so this book is one of my top variants in this haul. Um, up next, we have a three, um, 395 out of 600. It's a Symbiote Spider-Man number one done by Clayton Crane with Mysterio with the skull in his bubble um, and Spider-Man in his black suit. Love Mysterio as a character. It's a book I've been eyeing lately to add to my collection as an Amazing Spider-Man 13. He's always, it's, I love that book as well. Great cover. Mysterio is such a cool character to me, so different. Um, and he just has a beautiful cover here. Clayton Crane is probably my favorite modern artist after Jim Lee. Love Clayton, Clayton Crane. Um, next is a Cosmic Ghost Rider number one, done by Perillo. Um, just a beaut, I don't know if the camera does it justice, but this is just high grade, beautiful, beautiful white. The white on this is so clean. Um, and just a great Cosmic Ghost Rider cover. The colors on this just pop. I, real stunner right there. Um, this next one is one I got in a Superior Spider-Man um, box. It is a Virgin variant done also, I believe, by, yep, Perillo. It's Harley Quinn, Villain of the Year number one, and this was a C2E2 exclusive. And I was actually at C2E2 this year, and I'm glad I didn't buy it because I had considered it. I saw it there. And along with Deadpool, Harley Quinn is literally my least favorite character. I think, like Venom, they just put her on everything and it's just too much but this cover really struck me with her hyenas and i think it's really really gorgeous now if you watched any of my previous videos this next one is also a clayton crane and one of the few that i have signed in this haul but one i saw murph have and i tried to get it multiple times and i'm not going to retell the story but here but I just think this is such classic Joker and such a beautiful color. And you can see I got his signature um, at C2E2. Um, I was able to meet Clayton Crane, which is really cool. And I had him, I bought this book from his booth and I had him sign it. Um, so that is one of my top three variants. This is, this is number three. Um, Number two is one I also just got from the Superior Plus box. This is an ultra rare Michael Turner variant that only 300 of them are in existence. And this is the Virgin sketch cover. This drawing of Spider-Woman is gorgeous and the white is perfect. I think mine would grade out a 9.6 with a slight chance at 9.8, but there's kind of like a small, small, small ding. So I don't think it would, it would I think it would be at a 9.6, but still super high grade and actually one of the more valuable variants out there right now. And so I was happy, it basically paid for my whole superior box, which is pretty much awesome. And this next and my last virgin variant, my number one, is a Wolverine number two, one in 100. Um, this is one of the first variants I actually actively went out and searched for and bought it on eBay. I've never bought another variant off eBay, but I just had to have this David Finch Wolverine number two, one in 100. Wolverine black and white, David Finch in the rain. Um, just an absolute stunning, stunning virgin variant, in my opinion. I love looking at this thing. I think this is such a super cool variant. So that's kind of what my Keeper variant collection looks like right now. Um, so now I have three books to show you that are actually a small haul. Um, I'm going to start off with a CGC book. It's a Marvel Collector's Item Classic 9-2, and we have Stan the Man Lee's Signature. This is my first Stan, the, Stan Lee book. Um, I got this in my Torpedo Stan Lee box. 
There was, I think, 107 of these made, and one bo each box came with a slabbed Stan Lee signed book. And one box had a chance to win an Amazing Fantasy 15. Um, they were th um, $300 a box. And, you know, I love this. I love having a Stan Lee signature, um, but I didn't want it on Marvel Collector's items, to be honest with you. Um, they showed all the books on Torpedo's websites that were signed by Stan, and there was Fantastic Four, Thor, um, Strange Tales, Captain America, so many great Silver Age actual books. And there was 14 books out of the 107 that I looked at that I didn't want that were like reprints. And, you know, I'm not lucky when it comes to those things. I'm not complaining because my life's pretty good. But, of course, I got one of the one in 14 I didn't want, the Marvel Collector's comic. So I just have bad luck there. So I am probably going to end up selling this um, at some point. But for now, it's in my collection. It's cool to have a Stan Lee signature since I've never owned one. Coming up next is another book I have also never owned that's pretty popular. It is Secret Wars number 8, the first appearance of Spider-Man's black suit. It's the newsstand um, edition. I believe, I could be wrong, maybe I'm getting it confused. Um, please let me know in the chat if I am wrong. But still a great, you know, little key to add to any collection. Um, it's never one I really, really, like, was like, oh, I got to go out and get that, which is why I haven't owned it. But to get it, like, this way, it's something I'm very happy to have. I'm a big Spider-Man fan, so to add it to the collection is pretty cool. Now, my last book is an expensive book. It was CBCS 4-5, and a big first appearance, a book from 1959, is Showcase number 8, the first appearance of Captain Cold and the second ever appearance of Barry Allen. So a super old DC key that is expensive and hard to find. Now, I just love the cover colors on this. Four fives, even four fives are a hard grade to get this in. And I just love the white and the yellow and the green, how it all me meshes with um, the Flash's outfit. And the Flash is really a title. I, I mean, when you watch videos on YouTube, not a lot of people have many Flash books or collect the Flash as like its own title. Um, there are some people, you know, obviously who do have some here and there, but really, um, you don't, I, I feel like I don't see too many flash books and I definitely only know of one other YouTuber who owns this book. So a first appearance, an old book from 1959, something I'm super stoked to add to the collection. Obviously I cracked it out of that CBCS and it's just a real gorgeous book. So I don't want to take up too much of your time. This is what I've been collecting during the um, quarantine and putting together. So thanks again, guys, for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye.